One of the favorite things to do when you're fly fishing, of course, is using a dry fly. And we're used to it out here on the Columbia, aren't we? Oh yeah, it's our favorite place to dry fly fish, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like the best about the Columbia? Well, the caddis, the big caddis hatches that come off in July, yeah. can't beat fishing Can't those. beat them. You know, we get a lot of mayfly hatches, but again, we're going to key on the caddis. So today, it's dry fly fishing as we take you sport fishing. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. on the little one foot of water on the little fat there was the flat there was a sipper there throughout the caddis bright sun midday we saw him he ate it he ate it and the dry fly midday bright sun but there is the odd caddis coming off so bodes well for having the caddis later just a midday take nice fish our regular little Columbia River carpet caddis. <laughs> we use it all the time. Nice little fish. Not huge, but nice when he's sipping right in the shallow. Huh. Nice, eh? Nice color. Gorgeous fish. I'll let him go. He's gone to the middle. I missed those first two right on there, right? Scooped at it, and then this big guy, he was sitting right in the shallow. A foot of water right by the bushes, the calm, and he ate the caddis. Now he's long gone. <laughs> Look where he's gone. He's way down. Let's see if I can get him back here. That's the most satisfying though, those dry fly take like that, especially after I missed those ones. Yeah. Then, then this guy just is in even tighter in the calmer water. I thought, oh, he'll never eat the cat. It's too big. Probably two or three feet, eh? Yeah. Like, not very much water no. at all. I thought he's too big. He's never going to eat that off the, my cat is just too big, off the soft water and up he came. Oh, all yeah. right, look at the beautiful stripe on him oh, too. Yeah. He's got the, just chrome fish, look at him flashing down there. He's got a big strap. Wow. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. For the carpet caddis. A regular little, regular little carpet. See, that's pretty, pretty large for him to yeah. have sucked it off yeah. that. Really calm, nice fish. Gorgeous. Yeah, he's probably. I think he's like 18 inches anyway. Yeah, oh yeah. Solid bow. If not. Oh, he is yeah, coming out. He's got out really cool bit. colors. Yeah. Let me just revive him here. He gave up quite a fight. Yeah, ever. See how he slithers out of. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Right back down. Yeah. All right. Well, you missed Picked a few, but you finally got him. <laughs> of course, when you, as soon as you stop the camera yeah, running, right? Course, That's when he ate. Never fails. After I, after I pooched those first couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll hang out here and see if we got a few more. Okay. Sweet. Keep it going, 
guy just rolls back here. Keep it going. Let it float. Yeah. Keep it going. There, took it. I got him. You got him. Yep. <laughs> That's why I say I saw him, so oh. that was perfect. Look at how he's taking off. Oh, he's a nice fish. Going along the edge. Get him on the reel. That does look pretty good. He did. Feels good. He did look good. Nice back rise, you know, just a nice sip. Classic. You know, oh, funny he's is, nice. Yeah, they haven't jumped though. It's really oh, weird. Oh, it's weird. Stay down. It's a nice fish too. Nice one. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful colors. Look at the colors. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Chunky. Get that fly out of there. Okay. Carpet caddis is out. out. Carpet caddis again. Very nice, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous bow. I'll hold him up. Yeah. Nice and chunk. A nice chunk. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. There, there he goes. goes. Nice. All right. I saw, we saw him. You saw, saw him and kept you going. <laughs> I didn't see him. I was yeah. casting. You said, keep letting it float. It, it keep letting just, it float. It was right perfect, perfect float. Perfect trajectory. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Maybe you should have kept your little mayfly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh. that guy you sucked it down. That's a nice fish. That guy just took it real, <laughs> really, just a little, oh, he oh, just jumped. <laughs> <laughs> he sucked oh. it down, <laughs> subtle. Again, not huge, but just a nice take, you know, that nice little, a nice little subtle take. Ah, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. I had to put on my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, took off my sunglasses and put on my glasses. Yeah, same size as yours, I think, 18 yeah. inch or so, or 16 to 18, like, just great on a dry fly. Wow. So, special. see, I had to use my rod. Yeah, yeah, this is the, I couldn't see my fly. Exact same fly, but I got a lot, I got that 20 foot leader on. Yeah, it's From too fishing long that 18 leader. mayfly, it's way too long. This one's about 10 foot, it's just right, 10 to 12 feet, perfect. Okay, I'll go and net this guy. Okay. Plus a lot nicer on a five weight. I got a six weight. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're not big fish, but wow, they're fighting good. Well, yeah, I guess they would be considered big fish. You know. Yeah, there's. I'm just surprised they're not jumping much. Yeah. They usually jump around a lot more. Totally. Well, well this guy's even a little bit smaller, but wow. Yeah, these little guys are hot fish. Every time you <laughs> think you have them up, there you there. Oh, nice yeah. fish. Oh, just a, a little chrome bullet. And there's the, there's the carpet caddis right in the side of his mouth. Get a little beat up, but still good. <laughs> he we'll is kind of we'll beat. We'll gink him. Yeah, just a little guy. You know, nice size though. Anytime you're catching fish like this on a dry fly, you know we're spoiled. Yeah. You know, that's, 16 to 18 inch fish yeah, steady that's... like that. You know, just gorgeous. Oh, there he goes. Nothing it's wrong gorgeous. with that. Oh, nothing at all on a dry. Are you kidding me? But you know, when you're used to catching 24 inch, yeah. <laughs> you know, on the big holes, which we're going to show you, you know, we just got to time it on those big holes. But boy, we got a hole. In this river, that's it's real big. It's just known for the big fish. It's way down below near the border. It's a classic. If they ever come off, if we ever get the conditions right, we get a bit of cloud, and we get the caddis coming off early, you know, where we can actually film them instead of coming off at 10 at night, we can film it. And they're big. You know, you snap off a lot of fish down there. They're big, big. You snap off a bunch anyway. I know. It's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. There it is. Okay. Little carpet it's caddis. All good to it's go all ready again. for you. He's all fluffed up, ready to go. Okay. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by 
Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. So we got some time to show everybody Don's fly box. Everybody likes to see, you know, my fly box, Mr. Chan's fly box, Bulldog's fly box. We always got our favorites, but you know, it's funny, we're looking back and you know, I open up my, I've got this cool Richardson chest box. This, this was one of the classics from way back, like 25 years ago. And here's a bunch of the mayflies, you know, that you have to have. So again, on the Columbia, the two main hatches you're gonna have through all of the summer are caddis and different color mayflies. You know, you got every type of mayfly. You don't have to know what they are, just the color and the size. And if you look in the box here, you know, I've got some of my old favorites. I've got the yellows, I've got the orange. Uh, of course, you, you know, an Adams, a parachute Adams, can't beat it. Parachute Adams, one of the best you're gonna have. Uh, we have some green drakes, not often, but you get the odd green drake coming off late spring, some of the bigger stuff. Small, small, small little little parachutes. You know, I've got a bunch of uh, pale morning duns, some blue wing olives that we get in the spring and into the summer. Again, just nice uh, tent wing atoms, always a killer. So, you know, those are all the different mayflies. And of course, you got the caddis. And look at, look at all these caddis flies I have. I got ones that I haven't used forever, for years and years, all done here. You know, I've got these old these old winos, I think we tied you a wino on the bench. The wino. The wino many yeah, years ago. Uh, we've got, you know, little emergers. You know, we use a lot of these little tiny caddis emergers. That's great when they're just feeding on emergers. We put it on a dry line and sink it down, and just let it run through the current. And of course, you know, all our various carpet caddis. Now we talk about a carpet caddis, you know, we we make obviously mods. We've got bigger carpet caddis, smaller ones. We put a little orange butt on like we're using tonight with a little small orange butt. Uh, so you just you never know. You got to have a whole bunch of different flies. So be prepared like we are. You know what? I've had like three fish come up and look at this and refuse it. And uh, I think, you know, this is our standard carpet caddis. Yeah. But I'm going to go with the big guy. You remember we used to use the big carpet caddis. Well, bigger. size 12, not well, a 14. Well, size 12, right? yeah. bigger. And uh, orange butt. Yeah. Like a little orange egg sac on yeah, there. Yeah, I always put that little I orange shuck on there. We've had this one. happen before. Yeah. That's the nice thing about fishing the Columbia so often. We've had it before, and it can be deadly. Let's well, try it. I'm going to switch. It. I'm going to yeah. switch it up. Cool. The big caddis with the orange butt. <laughs> After those refusals, he ate it. Secret weapon. Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, there he is. He's 18 inch. These 18 inch rainbows, I tell you, on dry flies is they give you one heck of a. Oh, they are chrome. Come on up there. There he is. Oh, nice. Oh, he suckered for the little. Oh, the carpet caddis is out. Okay. Nice fish, hey? Oh, yeah, they're, nice. Yeah. they're nice this size with the... Yeah. Yeah, put them down in here. Drop my caddis in there. With this current, I like to get a... There he is. Yes. Very nice. Okay, sun has finally gone down. Some clouds, so we should be good. Oh, we're just getting major wind gusts. I'm hoping it yeah. dies out before we head to our next riffle where we always end the night. Bring this guy in. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice little fish on a dry <laughs> fly. Especially in, there's that. Ooh. Flying right in the top lip. And the chubby. Little chubby guy. Yeah. Nice and chubby. Yeah, there's the fly. Oh, gone. Yeah. <laughs> Just a nice little guy. Let's let him go. There he goes. Yeah, great dry fly, but man, we're gonna head over to our uh, our favorite favorite little riffle to finish. It's actually shallow water like this, but it forms a bunch of pockets, it's actually boily, and the caddis really come off there. So I think we'll head over there now. We've got to try to get out of this wind. It just 
came out of nowhere. It's atrocious. <laughs> oh, the guy just tried to eat it right there. So we always love to finish off in this one little hole. So the three main sections you want to key on when you're out here for the dry fly is that shallow riffles that you saw Dale fishing on us, catching a few fish. These pocket water riffles. So again, it's fairly shallow water, really tough to hold in unless you have a, kind of an auto anchor like we have. Really boily, but the fish love it in here because the food just rolls through. And of course, the big holes. The big holes we normally fish really late at night. We can't film because it's always, you know, dark. But these riffle runs, the fish tend to key in these nice, you know, I would say six to eight feet of water here instead of two to three feet over there. So we'll give it a shot, see if we can get some here because they are coming up. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop. Maui Jim sunglasses and Hardy rods and reels. Yeah, you picked them, picked them. Well, yeah. the wind in between the wind guy, <laughs> the wind died enough. Where I made a nice cast in the pocket, and the guy came in and ate it. Well, you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna go to the bench and tie up this. Oh, 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 nice jump too. We're gonna go to the bench and tie up this pattern. So. It's a little bit bigger carpet caddis and it's got the nice trailing butt. I just put a nice orange trailing butt on it. It's a lot of the, a lot of the caddis in here when they're uh, laying the eggs and stuff, they have a nice little egg sack on them. It's kind of an orange color. Sometimes the fish want it and tonight they do. So let's go to the bench, tie you that up and we'll come back, we'll show you this fish. Well, today on the bench, I want to tie you up the hot orange butt carpet caddis. It's a fly we use when the fish are aggressive, but they're feeding just on the surface. It actually sits low in the water. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 12 dry fly. We'll use some 8-aught rust thread to tie with, some 12-aught hot orange thread for the butt, some 8-aught rust thread for the body, some small copper wire for the rib. For the underwing, we'll use some brown antron or zeolon, some natural elk hair for the overwing, and some Cree dry neck for the hackle. To start the fly off, I'm gonna take my hot orange thread. I'm just gonna get it on my hook and I'm gonna wind it back and form a small butt on the fly. And I'm gonna go down the hook ends just a little bit and form that butt. Now that we have the butt on the fly, I've whipped, finished that thread off and I'm gonna put on my rust thread and get ready to tie it in. Now take your fine copper wire, your small copper wire. Just gonna start it just behind the eye, move it back to where you ended your butt. So we want this just in front of the butt section. Now the wire is tied in, I'm actually gonna form the body with the thread. I like to keep a thread body on here because I want it sitting very flush on the water. So just build up a small body on the fly. And again, finish off about a half an inch from the eye. You want it fairly far back from the eye. Once the body's tied in, we're gonna take that wire and we're gonna rib it forward. And I like to put in about five to six ribs on the fly. Now the ribs tied in, take some of your Zeolon or Antron, double it over your thread. So you form actually two wings, wrap it back slightly. And now when you cut it to length, you want it the length of the hook, just past the hook bend on an angle. Always cut it on a 45 degree angle. Now that we have the underwing tied in, I'm going to take some elk hair. I'm going to pull off all that fluff on the end. I'm going to put it in my hair stacker, stack the material. I'm going to pull it out. And when I tie it in, I want it just past the length of the underwing. So we're going to measure up. There's about the underwing. Go a little bit past it. And then when you tie it in, take one loose wrap, and then another loose wrap, two loose wrap, and then tighten in, tighten down. And this will get your elk to just play out nicely. Now that we have the overwing tied in, I'm gonna take one of my Cree hackles and just tie it in right behind the eyelet. Cut off my excess. And then I'm gonna take about, you know, four or five wraps just to form a hackle on the fly. Now 
Now that we have the hackle tied in, I'm going to take all this material that I haven't cut yet because I want to finish right behind the eyelet. So I'm going to wrap my thread forward and whip finish right behind the eyelet. Now that you whip finished, we're going to trim off all this material, but first I want to trim my hackle flat. So I want this fly to be laying low in the water. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just trim off all that hackle that's sitting down under the hook. I'm going to leave the side and the top is fine, but just underneath. And then I'm going to pull up all this extra elk hair that we have, and I'm going to form a nice small head on the fly. So there it is, Don's Hot Orange Butt Carpet Caddis. You know, it's a combination. I like to use that Antron for the underwing and the elk hair for the overwing because I could really gink it up. And I also, if you want this fly to sit up a little higher, put a hackle on the body. That'll really, really elevate the fly. But if you want it sitting low in the water, tie it this way. Big fish are lazy and they love sipping this off the top water. So make sure you have some in your fly box. Like, oh, nice fighting fish. You know, he was, uh, he's coming off the, uh, probably coming off the spawn. He's a little thinner. Oh, look at him. Nice, beautiful colors. Nice, nice boat. And he's going to go right away. There he goes, man. They're tough fish in there. All right. A little orange, little orange butt carpet cat. It's a orange winner. butt carpet cat. Like here comes that wind again. So, yeah. one thing I dislike, and I dislike it a lot, <laughs> it's the wind when I'm fly fishing. I dislike it. Well, what would you think of the day, buddy? Oh, it's like every other dry fly fishing on the Columbia is yeah. always excellent. It so, and I like, you know, the daytime. We're going to go to the big hole after this and you fish into the night and get some big yeah. fish. It's tough to film. I like the shallow water, picking them off. In the yeah, light. that's your gig, isn't it? I love it. Like, you know, we're only in like five <laughs> feet of water here and you pick them off. It's I great. know. Every time we set up the boat, who's the first guy up in the front? The boy. <laughs> well, it is because it, it's exciting, right? Well, you, it's exciting, you got that yeah. shallow riffle, two, three feet of water. You see the fish come up. It's fantastic. And you live here now. I, don't I know. That. That's right. Visit. Exactly. <laughs> so when you come out here and you want to do some dry fly fishing, take care. Conserve our waters. And we'll see you next time. We take a sport fishing on the fly. All right. Yeah. Down to the big hole. <laughs>